Welcome to the channel. We're going to do a quick reading focused on Julia. I want to peek through the blinds of Julia's mind, see how she's feeling, because I'm really over Salon and Chantal. I've done enough readings on them. If you're interested, go check them out. But let's peek through the blinds of Julia's mind, her kitty mind. If you're new here on Melissa, I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And right now I want to tune in to Julia. This is a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's see if we can tune in. Show me Julia. Her overall energy is the Nine of Wands to the side. Um, the Nine of Wands is an energy that has been through a battle. And they survived it. And... They're, uh, sometimes I describe them as someone like with PTSD, like, even though they've already survived and been through the battle, they're like on guard, waiting, like it's going to happen again. So I could look at this like it having to do with Julia going into heat. Um, it being about nine months since she had her shot or something like that. Um, I'm feeling like Julia wants people to know that all you have to do to learn about cats is watch like a 10 minute video or read an article past the headline and you would know that female cats can begin going into heat sometimes as young as four months old, okay? Usually it's around six months, but sometimes it happens earlier. It could be dangerous for them. And a, a, one female cat in its lifetime that's not fixed can give uh, birth, well, can, can have up to 200 litters in her lifetime. And going in heat, yeah, it's natural um, because if cats are left in the streets, the likeliness of their litter surviving is incredibly low that's why they have so many litters in a lifetime and they go into heat um, every x amount of months regardless there's nothing that triggers that <laughs> julia just wanted you guys to know okay um specifically chantal I'm being kind of sarcastic in my tone. I don't know if you are recognizing that person who might be tuning in. Oh, my God. All right. Show me more about, you know, show me how Julia is feeling about, about Chantal. <laughs> okay. Um, well, when I see cards fall down like this, I usually feel like this is the energy not either wanting me to see this, wanting us to see this, or... They themselves are having trouble facing the feelings here. So what came out here upright is the death card, Scorpio energy, the king of wands, and the five of swords. Um, immediately what I feel is that Julia wishes that, <laughs> that she could end her relationship with Chantal. I could look at it that way. The death card for me represents a few things. <laughs> when I get it, when I get it, when I'm asking about Chantal and her health, I feel very specific about it. But here I'm feeling like it's representing what I often say it does is the, the permanent ending, which usually we need a permanent ending in order to have our new beginning. Um, I see this King of Wands as Salah's energy, or I could look at this as the focus on Chantal having too much focus on a masculine energy and what they're doing with their wand. Um, Julia could wish that Chantal would end her obsessive, uh, atten the attention that she gives to this and to, oh, the Five of Swords, which can represent a fight, an argument. I'm feeling like this is for Julia when she's witnessing Chantal, uh, not put an end to the attention given it could, this could be literally the attention that's been given to the whole situation having to do with the, the you-know-what. And 
the Five of Swords, this could talk about arguments going on between Salah and Chantal that Julia is witnessing, or the arguing, the pointless arguing, passion-driven, empty, passion-driven arguing going on online uh, that Chantal does on a daily that poor Julia has to, can't escape, can she? Um, and I sometimes look at this as when a person needs to recognize what is worth standing up and fighting for and what is what they need to be walking away from. I don't know if you heard that, that I have a storm near me. Oh, okay, so, all right, all right. So the cards that came out here is the Queen of Cup, the Four of Cup, and the Seven of Wands. Um, now, I know that alcohol, they, they're not supposed to be allowed to drink where she's living, but this, uh, for me, is an energy that sometimes is not, is not in control of their emotions, uh, or is their actions are driven by their emotions. Uh, also someone that I view as, like, indulging in things, so sometimes I look at that as drink, with the cup being there, but it could be food, um, just being emotionally driven. The Four of Cup, uh, so what I felt immediately when I saw this, the Four of Cup represents an energy that's being offered love, but they're not, like, they're not paying attention to it. They're leaving it out there on the limb, not really even recognizing it exists. And I feel like that's... J Julia feels like she's just ignored. All right? This could be because lately, if I can trust what Chantal is saying, that it's only lately she's been locking Julia away in the room uh, because Julia was in heat by no fault of her own. The Seven of Wands, the energy that's on the defense, trying to protect itself. So, I feel like Julia feels like, and, and I could look at this like Julia, you know, uh, feels like um, Chantal is very emotional. She might be actually hearing and seeing Chantal have outbursts, things of that nature, and it's affecting Julia, m making Julia feel like she has to hide or protect herself. All right, um, I'm gonna leave that there. All right, if you have a request, leave it in the comments. Um, let's all say a prayer for Julia, and that's all I have to say about that. Um, if you're interested in learning about cats, there are many, many videos up here that that can tell you everything, everything you need to know in less than 20 minutes. And if you own a cat, I don't know why you haven't watched one of those videos um, already. All right, guys, uh, I love you. Um, let's all take care of our cats. <laughs> And I'll see you next time.